Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you different ways to improve the visualization of your HDevelop programs. Let's open this program. As you will see, its visualization is quite bad. First, an image and an incomplete message are displayed. In the image, you could barely see the outlines of some dice. The contrast is quite low. According to the program window, the goal of this program is to count the number of pips on each die. Next, a threshold is applied and the connected components are computed. Lastly, the number of pips on each die should be displayed, but apparently something goes wrong while displaying the message. Let's improve this program step by step. First, we want to improve the appearance of the image so the dice are more noticeable. To accomplish this, HDevelop offers lookup tables, or LUTs. Go to the visualization parameters and select LUT. Here you can find a list of the different lookup tables available within HDevelop. Let's try some. Square can be useful if the contrast in the brighter areas of an image is really low. In our case, square root is useful since the contrast in the darker areas is too low. Now we're able to see the dice better than before. Maybe you noticed that trying out all these lookup tables had no effect on your program code. To have the appropriate code automatically generated for you, go to the Graphics window and click on Record Interactions. In the program window, make sure that the black insert cursor is placed where you want your new code to be generated. Click on square root again. The appropriate operator, devsetLUT, is inserted into your program. Later, when you know all these operators by heart, you can of course type them directly into the program window. To avoid having unnecessary code generated without you noticing it, Uncheck Record Interactions. Now we notice that the dice seem to be stretched. The graphics window is square, whereas the image of the dice is rectangular. Thus, we replace Dev Open Window with Dev Open Window Fit Image. Now, HDevelop opens a graphics window that adapts the aspect ratio of the window to the aspect ratio of the image. Next, let's tackle the incomplete message. First of all, it's good practice to define long messages outside of the operator for better code readability. In addition, there is a handy trick to define the line breaks. You can split your message into a tuple. Before looking at the result, take a look at the operator Set Display Font. It's really useful to quickly change the font of your messages. Let's restart the program to see the results so far. The display of the message is much better now. Next, the output regions of connection are displayed. The standard color setting is colored 12. Therefore, all output regions are displayed with a set of predefined colors. Let's say we want to display only the outlines of the dice with a single color. Thus, we choose a color with a high contrast. Additionally, we click on Margin to display only the outlines and increase the line width to see the outlines better. Let's try a different method for inserting the appropriate operators into our program. Again, set the Insert cursor in front of the Dev Display operator. In the Graphics window, click on Insert Code. Then leave only Visualization Parameters checked. Now the visualization options we previously set are inserted into our program. Lastly, we want to fix the broken display of the number of pips. The problem lies in the used coordinate system. Our image has a different size than the graphics window. 
Thus, when displaying a message that correlates directly with the image, we have to use the coordinate system of the image. To avoid concealing the dice with the message, we add an offset to the column coordinate. And that's it. You should now be able to improve the visualization of your HDevelop programs. Check out our YouTube channel for more tutorials and information about our products. Thank you for watching.